welcome back to Open Everyone. You know, always inviting you to get to get connected with us. That's right. Like us on uh, Facebook at Open Bronxnet Television. And uh, well, we're gonna jump right into our next guest, Bronx born, yeah, Bronx born fashion lifestyle blogger who refers to his style as dandy. Yeah, he's all about being fashion forward and showcasing his love for fashion with the Bronx and here to tell us more about his blog and share some fashion tips for men we welcome fashion blogger Diego Leon thank you so much for having me I'm really excited to be here oh we are excited to have <laughs> you and you are looking dandy I, I try I try love the blue flower <laughs> thank you mix a little pop up with the color combination right here absolutely so um, let's talk a little bit about your journey because it's quite fascinating I mean your origins are from being a teacher <laughs> for pre-k yeah, exactly. which requires a certain level of sensitivity if you ask hey, me I try to be patient as I can you know but uh, yeah I started as a preschool teacher and what got me into fashion was my students they wore uniforms at my school so they had the little cardigans on they had the little ties you know and my kids were dressing better than me technically so I went on social media to learn how to dress better um, then I you know started wearing some suits you know because I want to show a better role model for my kids you know I took some selfies at the same time and then got some more followers and then I remember the first time a company messaged me on Instagram they're like hey Diego we like your Instagram can we send you a free tie and I was like wow that's amazing and then that's how I learned about all this marketing and fashion and all that stuff and now I'm here talking to you right now about it right the rest <laughs> is history you've been doing this well you're you've been a fashion blogger I mean a successful fashion blogger Thank I you. should say because <laughs> well yeah you're out there you, your, your website is really really something to to scroll through um, it's definitely like visiting uh, a millennials uh, <laughs> fashion magazine for men um, and adventure too because you, you had this one particular interview that I really enjoyed um, referring uh, to cryotherapy Yes, which I thought was like really super cool. Yeah, um, ever since I started as a blogger, like many doors has opened up. I met amazing people, even random celebrities as well. I met like Vin Diesel once through this, uh, Josh Peck a, a while ago, and then the cryotherapy thing. I got to check that out. They, I was in a cryo chamber, negative two hundred degrees Fahrenheit for three minutes, oh and the rest of it is in the blog if you want to see it. But. Uh, it was pretty cold. It was wow. brick. It was yeah. brick. And so what, what were the benefits <laughs> of, of going through that therapy? Well, it's really for people who do a lot of intense working out. So if you're like an intense runner, marathoner, working out, the Rockettes use it a lot because, you know, they're always dancing a lot. And it just lowers the, um, uh, the swelling a lot. So definitely if you're inter into f uh, fitness, it's worth a shot. That's cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. instead of soaking in ice. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's a bit it's more like, and you get it done quicker. It's a bit more dandy, you know, doing it that way. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that. So, um, okay, so we went from uh, preschool to blogging to now you you have your own uh, blog style magazine website uh, for what four years now yeah I started my blog in 2014 so it's been it's been a while yeah <laughs> well it's great congratulations and, Thank you. and congratulations on, on your your continuous progression because now you're styling and you're fat you're designing your own line yeah exactly so what I'm trying to do now is collaborate with more menswear brands to just make my own accessories and suits so for example this suit actually is a collaboration I made with this brand called Book a Taylor so Hopefully in early February, I will be releasing a capsule collection of three different suits. And the idea behind the suits will all be inspired by things I grew up with in the Bronx. So this burgundy color is actually based on, I went to Cardinal Hayes. And, you know, Cardinal and Gold, so I wanted to, like, give back to that type of color. And then I'll have two other suits, but eventually there will be secrets. I You'll appreciate get done that right. because, you know? you know, when you wear uniforms, you kind of want to yeah. stay away no, from No, that's the true. Color. That's true. I used to hate uniforms, but now I have my own uniform that I want to wear every day now. So I just want to show people that, you know, even though that I'm going everywhere, but the heart's still back at home here in the Boogie Down, you know? Yeah, no, I love that you always bring it back to the borough. And also the fact that you're able to uh, give hope to those who are stuck having to wear uniforms every <laughs> single day. No, because you said it at, at, in the beginning. It's like you, your kids wore uniforms, so you wanted to style yourself in a way that was uniformed or refined, right? Because yes. that's where the dandy comes in. And it also lends itself to this caballero flavor. You know, exactly. I mean, you have the, that chivalrous, uh, you know, <laughs> like stand up, like I'm a gentleman look. And, and it's fabulous. And yes. And you're bringing it here it, to your home in the Bronx and you're incorporating the Bronx thank you very well. much and you know that means a lot though because I always tell people the idea that people usually say that 
you don't judge a book by its cover. But it's not that true, you know? People are judging people all the time. So why not control that with what you wear? You know, when you come in with a nice outfit, a nice suit, it commands a certain, you know, atmosphere. So why not control that and teach people how to do that? So uh, do you always dress up everywhere you go? <laughs> yes, I try to dress up all the time. Uh, the only time I don't dress up is maybe I'm in the gym, but I don't post about that, so right. no one's <laughs> seen that. <laughs> that's your secret. That's, the secret uh, that's your stuff. undercover look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's you hilarious. might see it on Snapchat, but I don't, I don't share that much. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm just having a visual of like what your PJs look like. <laughs> like you probably got a dance hat or something, <laughs> a fedora. Hey, you know, <laughs> here's my my sleep fedora. There you go. <laughs> So what are some tips we could share really quick before we go well, uh, for gentlemen? Well, yeah, definitely. So my latest post right now is about actually suspenders versus belts. So I'm making the case that suspenders are better than belts. They're way more slimming. They keep the pants up way better. They're not, cr um, you know, tightening your waist. I have more on my blog at dannythebronx.com, but yeah, suspenders definitely the way to go. And perhaps we can get rid of that plumber trend. Oh yeah, exactly. You don't want to see that uh, extra stuff in the back. Not, well, not needed. It's not needed. Past, you know, <laughs> the duck walk is not not feeling the duck mm -mm -mm. walk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you so much for being here with us, uh, Mr. Diego. And uh, of course, uh, are there any last words you want to share with our viewers? Uh, well, thank you so much for having me. Check me out at dandyinthebronx.com and on Instagram at dandyinthebronx. D A N D Y. Awesome, thanks. Hey, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Chivalry is alive. I love that. <laughs> Once again, you guys, you can check out Diego's blog by going to Dandy in the Bronx. Dot com and on Instagram he's dandy in the Bronx he's dandy <laughs> <laughs> I love that all right once again uh, you can check out uh, Diego's blog by going to didn't I say that already I said that right dandy in the Bronx mm -hmm. and at dandy Keep in the Bronx it's fine with me. we're just dandy <laughs> in the Bronx this morning that's what's going on but you guys uh, well we're gonna take a quick break I believe and uh, when we come back we'll have more on our return don't go anywhere <laughs>